The compromise of the Paris Peace Treaties led the world into another conflict, which was between communism and democracy. The first military conflict of the Cold War occurred as North Korea invaded South Korea, disrupting the peace but eventually leading to another compromise that affected not only Korea but also the whole world. The conflict of Korea did not start just from Korea but it goes ages back into history. The idea of a democratic government started from the ancient Greeks and Romans. From then, America declared their independence in 1776, which made America become the first government to actually have a democratic capitalism. As the world started to change, a man named Karl Marx made a new type of government famous, socialism. Socialism was the idea that everyone would share and help others out so that a government was not needed. This was meant to be a great idea, but as men have evil thoughts, socialism was twisted to its extreme, communism. Communism was run by a dictator who received all the money and the lower class had to work really hard. The biggest country to grab hold of this system was Russia when Vladimir Lenin started the party and overthrew Tsar Nicholas II in what was called the Revolution of Russia. Joseph Stalin took over the newly revolutionized country, the USSR, and tried to spread communism into other countries. Meanwhile in Korea, the Japanese invaded and conquered Korea in 1905. Through the harshness of the Japanese people, the Koreans were forced to revolutionize their country in a very fast manner. During this time, World War II happened and the Allies, the British, US, and the USSR defeated Nazi Germany and the Japanese. As a result, the leaders met at the Paris Peace Treaty meetings to compromise for the war. During the peace talks, the UN was created which was a treaty between all countries so that another world war would be prevented. At Paris, the relations between the three allied countries, the British, the Americans, and the Soviets were not friendly. The animosity between the two sides eventually led to the Cold War. During the Yalta meetings, the USSR and the US decided to split Korea up, North to be a communist country and the South to be a democratic country helped by the US. This split and the Truman Doctrine that was passed by the US eventually led to the opportunity that the North Koreans wanted. The Truman Doctrine stated that the US would help other countries that were in their vicinity, but they had left out South Korea, which made the North Koreans consider the act of war. As the two sides split up, the Soviet Union made Kim Il-sung the North Korean leader. Kim Il-sung was a North Korean who had lived in the USSR and served as a soldier in the USSR army when Korea was occupied by Japan. When he came back to Korea, the Soviets granted Kim Il-sung the leadership position to lead North Korea. On the other hand, South Korea was led by Lee Seung-man. Lee seung man was a Korean that was raised in the US and had stayed in America for over 20 years. He was well accustomed to the capitalistic government of America and he changed South Korea to become a free democratic country. After the peace conferences of Paris, the Soviets succeeded in making their atomic bomb in 1949, which meant that the Americans were not the only ones with an atomic bomb. This and the fact that the two governments were in total opposition of each other grew the animosity between the two countries. Further on, the crisis in both Germany, Turkey, and Greece made the Cold War intensify. As time passed, China became a communist country due to the communist revolution. However, the Democratic Party of China refused to be removed from the UN as China's representative. This led to the Soviet boycott as a protest against the UN for not changing the representatives of China to the Communist Party. During this boycott, North Korea invaded South Korea and due to the absence of the USSR, the Security Council of the UN agreed unanimously to help South Korea. The North Koreans were under the leadership of Kim Il-sung when they attacked South Korea. On June 25, 1950, with the help of the Soviet Union, the North Koreans invaded South Korea. They advanced very easily due to the fact that they had superior weapons which included Soviet-made TI-34 tanks, lots of ammunition and guns compared to the limited supplies of South Koreans had, which included no tanks. In result of this attack, the UN met in an emergency meeting to decide to respond and help South Korea. Through Resolution 82-85, to 52 countries from the UN decided to help South Korea due to the fact that the USSR was absent to veto the act. They decided that the American forces were to lead the UN, and they appointed General MacArthur as the Supreme General over the UN troops. Also, America did not want to lose to the Soviets, as they wanted all the nations to know that America could defend nations against communism. As President Truman said, the prompt action of the United Nations to put down lawless aggression and the prompt response to this action by free peoples all over the world will stand as a landmark in mankind's long search for a rule of law among nations. As the command for war came in, General MacArthur sent the American troops in Japan to Korea to help the army of South Korea. However, due to the lack of weapons and skill, the Americans fell back into a retreat with the South Koreans to the southernmost port city of Korea, Busan. 
As this was the last place to retreat, the troops of America and Korea made a final stance against the North Koreans. However, due to the shortage of troops, even young boys were drafted to help the army and fight the enemy. The combined forces slowly started to weaken, but soon, the combined forces from the US and other countries arrived at Korea to help. By August of 1950, the UN troops arrived at Korea, and the morale of the troops rose greatly as they received more men, weapons, supplies, and air support. As the combined forces regrouped and strengthened, General MacArthur led a daring attack on the port city of Incheon in September. The attack was considered to be too great of a risk as the UN troops only had two hours to conquer Incheon, but the attack pressed on and succeeded, greatly changing the tide of war towards the favor of the combined forces. As the supply lines were cut and North Koreans could not send fresh troops to help, the combined forces led an easy upward advance. The UN troops reached the border of North Korea and China in a matter of months after the attack on Incheon. However, the sudden attack of thousands of Chinese soldiers pushed the UN troops back to the 38th parallel. General MacArthur suggested the plan of bombing China, but the US government decided against it as they did not want a World War III. Due to this, the war lasted for another three years of fighting back and forth between the 38th parallel line. As the war almost went to its fourth year, North Korea and the Communist USSR leaders met with South Korean and American leaders to agree to stop fighting. The compromise was called an armistice, as this was temporary resolution. During the war, Korea became devastated and many people were homeless and poor. Furthermore, millions of civilians had died during the war and after, as the Koreans tried to recuperate. Many families had split during the war and due to the incomplete armistice, many states split. As one civilian said, he had tried to look for his lost sister for years, but never found her. It took years to come back from the damaged state South Korea was in. For the first few decades, South Korea was considered one of the poorest countries, and many UN nations aided the Koreans. After struggling, South Korea slowly started to get better economically and politically. South Korea set up a democratic government like America's, which included a president, a congress, and a judicial branch. Through the years, there were some president dictators, but they were overthrown and South Korea came out as a better nation. On the other hand, North Korea did not change as much as South Korea. After the war, the Communist Party took over and Kim Il-sung became the dictator. Many hardships started after the dictatorship and the persecution of Christians started from then on. North Korea did not get better in either economics or politics and is still one of the poorest countries in the world. Many UN troops had died also during this war and American casualties numbered in the thousands. Through this conflict though, America showed the world that they would defend the free nations against communism. The USSR, however, kept on trying to change other nations to communism. As the Korean War was the first military conflict, both nations figured out many ways to defend their view of government. The Cold War continued with small but important skirmishes like the Cuban Missile Crisis and later on the Vietnam War occurred, which was another major war. During this period, Americans lived in constant fear of a nuclear war with the Soviets. However, the Cold War also made technology and the outer space exploration advance greatly. The first outer space exploration began and technologies such as the navigation system, better transportation, and better weapons were invented due to the Cold War. The Cold War finally ended with the resignation of dictator Mikhail Gorbachev and changing the Soviet Union into a president-led Russia. This made America become the most powerful nation in the world. However, North Korea remained a communist country and only the high communist party members benefit. Many North Koreans were killed and thousands of civilians attempt to escape into South Korea. South Korea on the other hand became one of the most important nations of the UN. A few years ago, Ban Ki-moon became the secretary general of the UN and currently South Korea is trying to make peaceful ways to annex North Korea into their country. However, in the recent years, North Korea has attempted to make nuclear weapons and tensions between North Korea and the combined forces of America and South Korea are very high. As the two countries are still at war, in part, the Cold War is not over yet between the two countries. The start of communism and the feelings of nationalism started the worldwide wars, World War I and World War II, that affected the world at the greatest extent yet. After the conflict of World War II, the Soviet Union, Britain, and the US met with other countries to make peace treaties in the UN. However, after the compromises, the Soviet Union started to prepare for another war to get rid of democracy. As a result, this led to the first clash of the Cold War in Korea. The Communist North Koreans, Chinese, and the Soviet Union fought against the Democratic Americans, South Koreans, and the UN. After three long years of fighting, the Korean War ended in a ceasefire which is still ongoing. This war led to many attacks around the world as this was the first military conflict between the two sides.